Let's go up a little bit here. That's really fantastic here. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Hi my friends, nice to see you. Today I'm out here in this fantastic woodland and as things are really crazy in the moment, we have a quarantine here in Austria with exceptions, so I'm allowed to go out, but only alone or with the people I live with in my house. And I have to keep a distance of one meter minimum to people when I, I meet anyone here. And we also shouldn't do any longer hikes or something like this. Everything what is dangerous that you could need a doctor or something like this should be avoided in the moment and I respect this. This woodland is around 10 minutes from my house so it's really a close one and the thing is usually this is not an interesting woodland for me because it's too close and everything what is too close is unspectacular usually we think so. I think most people think so maybe you think different or you think same you could comment below what your thoughts are to uh, extreme local areas i've been here already for so many times but i never thought about taking photographs here <laughs> to be honest but i was here already so many times with my wife with my children for a little walk just to enjoy the nature just to inhale this woodland smells and all these things you have in woodland but it's it's an interesting woodland it's not uninteresting and i think i can take this as a chance to go here now because i'm limited i i i'm not i don't want to drive for two hours anywhere in the landscapes we have great possibilities around an hour two hours three hours uh, so many possibilities to take fantastic photographs but i think there could also be really great possibilities here in this location and I also had a really really hard week, a really hard week. I have a company so usually I have weeks where it's really lots to do and I have also sometimes weeks where it's extreme hard and this was one of uh, such weeks where it was really extreme hard. I didn't sleep all too much so every day I worked long into the night and you don't can regenerate in such a week and think about what you want to photograph or anything. So today is really just a day of, let's call it a, a photo walk maybe, or well, not really a photo walk, it's more, it's more a scouting tour I think, where I try to find interesting spots maybe, compositions. And so the goal for the day is to find one composition or one potential spot where I could find a composition and come back afterwards when the conditions are right and, and this is the most important thing today, when I'm able to get open. I mentioned this already some weeks ago in my video Secret of Woodland Photography. I will link you above. And it's so important to get open. And when you are not able to, because you had such a hard week, it's better just to walk around, enjoy the nature, and come back afterwards. Usually when I come out into the nature for photography I can do like that and I'm open and I come into this kind of connection with the nature. It's really something like this but when I had a really really hard week it's not so easy. I, I need time to get into this connection. I have to come down and this week was really unbelievable. What have I done? I helped companies to switch from their usual commerce to 100% e-commerce because they are not able in the moment to sell anything. Because in Austria all shops are closed in the moment. It's only possible to buy food, medicine and such things but everything else is closed. And it seems to be necessary obviously but there are really many companies in the moment which are fighting for survive and this is what I what I, 
I did this week, I helped them to survive. And you have to set priorities. And in the moment, I think this is obviously more important than prepare for a great photo tour. I hope you understand this. But anyway, I try to get a great video for you. So let's see what I can get today. spring flowers come already through and to be honest I'm really a little bit disappointed that I didn't get my macro lens with me so I will keep this in my mind and maybe I have the possibility in the next days to come back here and take some photographs of the flowers here by the way I made a firmware upgrade of my DJI action which I'm filming currently and I think it wasn't the best idea because the screen always turns off after a few seconds and I didn't find a solution in a moment. So if you don't see me in the screen where I should be or if I am cut anywhere, so I apologize for this, but I, I try my best. I will keep it away from, from me, the camera. And however, I think I will come back a few days later and try to get a photograph here. So it starts a little bit more to rain. Meanwhile, what is great, obviously for landscape photography in woodland, because everything is wet, you get lots of contrasts here, but it's a really great thing. Also, I didn't plan to photograph anything today, maybe a test shot or something like this. But the other advantage, obviously, is that no one is so stupid to go out when it rains. So I think it's an advantage not to meet all too many people here. But however, I will go on with my walk for looking for things. And let's see if I find any composition for a test shot. When this nice spot here with this kind of sand birches. I'm not really sure if these are really sand birches. Maybe it's anything different if you know which trees these are. Just comment below. But it looks really great here. We have all these trees here and all these reds and greens. It looks really fantastic. It's really amazing. But it doesn't work to find a composition here now because there is too much going on here. Here are so many distracting elements. It's absolutely amazing. And so it doesn't make sense to build up a composition here and now. But what I think is when we had fog everywhere here so that we have a great sight at the first trees here, maybe not here, maybe I have to walk a little bit into the scenery, but when we get the softness to the depth to the background we get the feeling of depth into the photograph and this could look really fantastic so I'm not sure when I will come back here 
but I think maybe more in the autumn when we also have leaves on the trees back there what comes a little bit through the fog then so I will hold this spot in my mind and come back maybe in autumn and have a look if I'm able to find something of interest here but I think this place has really potential it's really fantastic let's go up a little bit here it's really fantastic here Absolutely amazing. There are also some trees with mosses on the bark. It looks really amazing. Absolutely fantastic. When we're so bad, we're so afraid of getting bored. When we're so bad, it's a different life. So as I came along here, I found these amazing branches down here on the ground, covered with mosses. It's absolutely amazing. And what I do here now is, I think there is a possibility to find a composition for an intimate landscape photograph. But as already mentioned in the beginning of this video, I had a really hard week and I really do hard in the moment to get into touch, to get into this emotional connection. I feel definitely much, much more relaxed now than in the beginning of the video. So it was so a good idea to come out in child in nature. But I think it is a waste of time to try to get a great photograph now. I will take some snaps now with my smartphone and think at home about the possibilities of a composition because these are branches here on the ground obviously beside this bath so it were possible that anyone comes here and puts this away but as I see the mosses are grown together everywhere here I think these branches will lay here already for a longer time and I think it's not a, a problem to think about at home and maybe come later in a week or two or maybe also in some days because as already mentioned this is only 10 minutes from me so also during the week now when I have time when I think I need a break of all this hard work because next week and the week after and so on will also definitely be hard weeks but I try to make the best out of it and I'm grateful that I found already that snow flowers back there and also these branches here it's it's possible that I maybe find anything and will come back in a few days hopefully <laughs> we will see when we're so bad We're so afraid of getting bored When we're so bad It's a different life When it's over To feel attached to anyone When I'm so bad It's someone else's life Meanwhile, I found a really interesting spot. It's absolutely amazing. And it's only 10 minutes from my house. I've never been exactly here at this spot. It's absolutely fantastic. Unbelievable. I found this tree back there. I hope you can see this with the ultra wide angle lens. And what I recognized is, and I saw this already many times when I came here for a walk here with my wife and so on. There are so many trees which are covered with mosses and this looks really pretty good and we have these trees here on the right we have also a tree on the left and in the middle of them we have this amazing tree back there it's difficult to find a composition here and now because as already mentioned i had a really hard weekend 
it's really difficult for me to come into this emotional connection. I, I'm already in an emotional connection to the nature, I think. But I'm tired. You know, when you always go to bed at midnight or something like this and have to get up early in the morning, it's really hard. And I don't try to find a composition with violence here. I only try to get into this connection and think about this spot, remember this spot and come back. I think this spot, by the way, has the best possibilities in autumn. So I think to come back here in autumn, maybe I also will do some death shots, but not today. I, I know it, it, it seems to become uh, such of these videos with lots of thumbs down, but uh, I hope you understand the situation in the moment. It doesn't make sense to take any death shots and I'm not really happy with them afterwards. So I, I think it's, it's, it's better to tell you my thoughts about this spot, about the nature here and, and how I manage it when I had a really hard weekend and when I know that it doesn't work to get a really great photograph. So the most important thing for me today is to enjoy this day and come one step closer to this connection and the next time when I'm here maybe I will work on the composition here. I have some last ideas so I think maybe there are many possibilities obviously. I'm, I'm here now for around 15 or 20 minutes and I try to, to think about uh, this place. I didn't, I didn't think all too hard about the composition in, in this time now. The most important thing is really to get the emotions. That's, that's, that's the base of each photograph. I mentioned this already so many times, but it's the most important thing. Obviously, you need lines and patterns and shapes and light and everything for a really great photograph. But when there is no emotion, it will never be a really great photograph. And I think there's always a little bit of misunderstood. I think many photographers think when they go out, they have to take a great photograph and when they don't, they fail. I don't think in this way. When I will be able to get a great photograph in autumn or next year, maybe in autumn or whenever, it's a success. It is one step in this journey to this great photograph. And I think this spot here has really potential. So when you are out after a really hard week or a really hard day and you do hard with coming into connection and you are tired maybe and you know already that it's difficult to get a really great photograph, don't try to do it. Enjoy, just enjoy and come back later. This is so much easier. It makes so much more fun. It's so much better than come back disappointed, <laughs> obviously. What I will do definitely here is taking some snapshots with my smartphone. I took already some and so I can a little bit better think about it. I have my remembers here obviously, but definitely it's always good to have snapshots. So when you are at home in your living room, maybe sitting on your couch or wherever, you can think about the composition, try to get into these feelings again, and maybe you have an idea and you can, can come back and build up a really great composition. I found one more really great spot here. It's absolutely amazing. I was back there before to search after patterns and lines and such things and I enjoyed the nature and I, I saw that there was something really saturated back there. This is this snack back there. It's absolutely amazing. It's covered with mosses and it's really, really green and bright. And there's also lots of space beside it, so it's really fantastic. And I also think that it's possible to build up a composition here. I took some test shots here, also on the other spots, not on each, but on, on some. And uh, I think I will show them here in, the, in my video. Maybe you have seen them already there from the other spots. So there are many possibilities and that doesn't look all the great here in the moment because here are so many things going on here. So many distracting elements on the ground and so on. And also behind this subject, behind this, this tree here, there are so many things back there, so many distracting elements. 
And to get rid of such things, there exist different possibilities. For example, fog is a really great way because the fog will soften everything back there, all the trees back there, all the crazy lines and so on. And it makes the photograph more simple and more powerful. And also snowfall, there is a possibility. We have a big gap up there, so it's really possible that we get lots of snowfall. And this also could look really dramatic and we can get rid of these crazy lines everywhere here in the landscape. So and I also want to show you the back of this amazing tree with these mosses. It's really fantastic here. All these structures and patterns, this texture. It looks really amazing and on a day like this where we have really a wet weather where it's raining and so on when you use a, a polarizer you get all these contrasts out of this image i don't will do today as already mentioned doesn't make sense i didn't find the best possible composition here and as already mentioned i'm really tired today and it doesn't make sense to to work hard on a composition where i'm disappointed afterwards when it doesn't work because i, I don't can use 100 percent of my ability to build up compositions but I had fun today. I, I really found some potential spots. What could be better? Uh, let's be honest. I, I can come back here. I have more possibilities. I can work on them and get out really great photograph. Hopefully. <laughs> So finally I found the composition with this tree back there. It's not the best one. I think I have definitely to tweak a little bit about this composition, but I think it's worth to take the photograph right now. I went a little bit around the tree and spotted the other side what looks really fantastic. So we have this branch up there building such a kind of fog up there. It looks really amazing and also the mosses catch the light in a really fantastic way. So I want to take the test shot here and now. So I will try it. Let's make the click. So I know this was a really short video this week, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please give it a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you didn't have already. And I thank you so much for watching. See you next Saturday. Thank you. Bye.